Welcome back to Treasure Hunting with Jeeves, guys. And we are out here in Maryland once again. We are doing the intro in the unit because there are a lot of people in here cleaning out units. This is really awkward. But anyway, we paid 40 bucks for the unit. It looks to have quite a few totes in it and hopefully some mystery treasure. So without further ado, let's get into it. So we're gonna start going through this one first because it looks like junk hangers and let's get the junk out of there first or some good stuff. Hopefully this will be stuff in there. Man, their hangers are stuck in the totes. Not a good sign. You know what? This is gonna stay there. Maybe it's a design thing. But we do have puppy love. <laughs> and oh, that's the issue. They are Jordans. I mean they look kinda. Eh, I think they can clean up. They're not too bad. But I've never seen a Jordan logo that small. Kids, probably. I'm hoping it's kids. I'm hoping they're not fakes. If you know, let me know in the comments. Because, I don't know, I've never seen that before. But then again, I've never bought kids. I've had a giant foot since I was, like, a little kid. <laughs> Jeez, look at that poor softball. Yeah. It has all the signatures on it and stuff. But if that was a hit. Somebody's got some scary power. It's like some Babe Ruth stuff right there. I want more shoes. Oh, what's this? Ah, uh, USA. Where's the brand on it? It looks like that Helly Hansen one we found before, but I don't think it is. Yeah, you've seen HHR, I think. Yeah, that's what I was looking for, but I guess not. It might just be a no name or no brand, like Walmart type thing. There's the other one of those, so if those are real, we do have both of them. Yeah, is that a speaker? Looks like a Bluetooth speaker. Yeah, our world. These are the ones they sell at five below, so me. Yeah. And then we have uh, one Nike here. A hat. Some of these, that's a gown, because here's the cap, too. Other than that, guys, a oh, trash. Little trash can, put trash in. Does it gotta be every time I come here? Yep, there's blunt wrappers. I'm telling you, it's like a every time you're in DC. I mean, in DC or Maryland, both really. Oh, nice. Here's even a bag with two 9mm bullets in it. A bag, you just two bullets. That's not suspicious at all. Not even a little bit. Other than that. <laughs> Got some more paper and I wonder what's in this little sock. I have a wild guess, but. You feel something in there? It feels like there's something in. Mm. Yeah, there's something in there. Maybe remnants. No, there's nothing in actually, and there's just the sock, but I know what this was used for. <laughs> it's just been empty. But that, that that's kind of shady. I don't know why you have two nine bullets in a baggie, but hopefully we can find that gun. That'd be nice. But then again, it's probably used in something. <laughs> well, that's all that's in here. So that was actually a better box than that. I mean, we only paid 40 for the unit. Those Jordans are real. I mean, the green ones, they gotta be close to that. So that could be the money back right there. Put the jacket back in there too. All right, let's look in this book bag. Oh yeah. Hello. Hello, stop trying to block us. Let us do what we need to do. Looks like a bathroom bag, got coconut butter. I don't even know what that is. A touch of something. They put the sticker over it. Cologne or perfume. And yeah, all bathroom stuff. What about the main pocket? Tampons. Paperwork. Ruby Tuesday. Yeah, the work bag. Yeah, because that's their pay stuff from there. Ah, open. Now we can fake cool. being a Ruby Tuesday yes. employee. We can be Ruby Tuesday employees now. I thought that was somebody's card in there at first. I was like, oh. <laughs> they just dipped in somebody's card. Um, other than that, guys, it looks like a lot of mail. Yeah, just a bunch of junk from what I can see. 
Might be another pocket. There's just pens and paperwork in there. But like always, once we get it all home, we'll go through it in more detail and at the recap, we'll let you know if there's anything hidden, like a gun. Or is it just gonna be ammo again? I can't wait to find a gun for the first time. Yeah, but our luck, you know once we do, it's gonna be like, once you look it up, it's gonna be like used in a murder and start to be turned in and it'll be interesting. Ooh, those are Adidas though. Huh. I kind of like, I usually don't like Adidas. Those look kind of, I don't like the color combination, but the style looks nice actually. I see a phone too. Only an HTC missing the back. Is that the back of it? No, that's another one. Why? That's <laughs> another thing. See, you always find the guaranteed in Maryland and DC. You find like seven phones all belonging to the same person. You find the weed remnants. It's, it's hard to not make the assumption that they're drug dealers. But we don't have no proof yet. Another one of those. Martin. Martin. <laughs> What's in here? Plant food supplement. I wonder what kind of plants you were doing. I got a guess, but I'm not gonna make no assumptions. Some cards, pennies. They're all rewards cards. I hate those. They're all have like for gift cards instead. Ooh, a Tom bag. Or a box, I mean. Nothing's in it. Maybe we'll find like a wallet or something. Uh, what else we got? Some new balance down there. <sighs> What's always also? What's always guaranteed also? There it is down there. Every time, guys. Let it focus. Focus. It's not going to focus on that. Yeah, it is. Uh -huh. <laughs> Always guaranteed as well. Like I said before, there's like there's laws to storage units. Uh, other than that, I don't see much else. Good thing you had gloves on this time. Yeah, no joke. This looks like, not trying to sound funny, this looks the like the exact, exact same, same thing that was in the other unit. But, yeah. Other than that, just paperwork and mail and stuff like that. <sighs> Literally, we've been through two things. We found ammo, we found a dildo, and phone, multiple phones. All right. Let's see what else we got. Oops. What is this first off? Sorry. It's like an air mattress, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, let's just toss that out. So, an air mattress. Last time we found one, it was popped. So hopefully this one's not the case. We can make a little something on it. Oh, here we go. It's Michael Kors. Yeah, it is. Seen better days. Yeah, it's not in the greatest of shape. There's a Jordan sticker in there. A quick pump probably for that air mattress. What else is guaranteed in every storage unit, guys? Tell me right now before I even show it. Kaboom has to be there. Is this a smartwatch? It looks like it to me. It's gotta be, but it's missing the whole back, so. <laughs> I don't know. Here we got more Ruby Tuesday things. We got kids running behind me. <laughs> Sorry, there's kids running around behind us, but that looks like it's all that's in here. I mean, a wire, envelopes. We'll go through all that once we get it home. Jordan sticker. $20,000 right there. Yep. More condoms. Magnums, too. Like, they always have different brands, too. Like, they have like 10 different condoms, all different brands. There's a shoe, but it's destroyed. What is that? What do you think it is? Yeah. Pure incense, white diamond. Okay, they're incense. Right, let's get this out. Tampon wrapper. Beautiful. What's down here? <laughs> Gross. Another Jordan sticker. Woo! Forty that. Cotton. Are they? Aero Jam cons. Huh. Never seen that. Looks like a Payless brand. Probably. 
It gives me less hope about those other Jordans we found. Empty box. I'll go to that in a second. What do we have here? Uh, conditioner. Let's see what's in here. This looks like a CD holder, probably. Yeah, oh, whoa. Alright. Looks like a porno collection, maybe. No, not the DB, not the ones that are actually in there, but the ones that are loose at the front, yeah. That's another thing you always find. This, this storage unit's got all the makings of a regular storage unit. Yep. It's like it is a storage unit. I know, right? Wild. Porno was originally in the. Ooh, Versace, too. We found a Versace box and a Louis Vuitton box. So where's the actual product set? I heard something drop. It's a book. Other than that, it looks like clothes. A little flashlight down there. Don't work. All right. Get this out of here. What do we have here? That's a ticket, it looks like. Hold on, let me see. I don't want to show their name, but give me a second. Ooh, pre-trial pre -trial release conditions and order. So, court order in DC. We'll find something interesting in here. Hmm. What do we got there now? Rat poop. Ew, gross. Great. Mm, it's good. Yeah, you're through this one. Ooh. Look at those. Eh. Eh. Hmm. Nah. No, donation. <laughs> donation. <laughs> It looked nice at first. It got worse as I looked better, more at it. Cowboy hat. Oh yeah, from H and M. Give me one second. I'm trying to keep the door shut, is it? Wow. Stop texting me. I'm busy. Ooh. <laughs> Those look nice, actually. But I mean, they're in. They're not in too rush. This will probably come off with a toothbrush and whitener. I mean, it's got some creases and whatnot, but they're not in terrible shape. They're not like brand new, but still probably 15 or 20 dollars for the pair. Ooh, another pair. Those look nice too. Again, these are, I mean, the only thing that's really wrong with these, they don't even really have creases like that. It's just the white part here being dirty, but I think with sheer whitener and toothbrush, that should come right off. So this might be like a 25 dollar pair. Miami Heat. Ew. Mm -hmm. Look at the bill on that. Like, that's just gross. Why? Some more Nikes. We always get our Nikes out here, too. Look at that. Let's see the other one of each one, too. We have this one, too. Yeah, we found these before. They sold the big stuff. No, just a bigger right. size. Another Jordan. Some more Nikes down here as well. But like I said, we'll have to clean these up when we get home to really see the condition of them. Toronto Raptors hat, Chicago. Look at those. <laughs> that is some colorful shoes right there. And, Other than that, that's a good box. Though. I mean, oops, that box is definitely worth the unit, without a doubt, or worth the price of it. So. Just boxers and junk, but we'll still skim through it. Pittsburgh hat. Oh, that's what this is in there. Look at that. That's what was in the box right there. Louis Vuitton belt. It has a, let's see, 44 out of 10. It is Louis Vuitton on the buckle, too. Why does it go together? Why is it look broken? Oh, uh, that actually No, it doesn't. But I wonder if it's real. Like we said, DC and Maryland's like the capital of the world for fakes. I mean, it's got a heat stamp in the middle, but I don't see a serial number. I'm assuming that's size, maybe. Mm. Huh. That's definitely, if it's real, that's definitely some money right there. Let's see what else we got. All dirty hats. 
other belt. Ugh, it smells like, it just smells like dirty laundry. Probably because that's what it is. Ugh. Nothing else, that belt's like, ugh. So that's junk, besides the belt, which could be worth a good amount of money if it's real. These units always look like less on the line, and when you get there, you're like, wow. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this in a car load, I hope so. Look in here first. I'm pretty sure this is all that's gonna be closed. Looks like it's all gonna be closed. It's something we'll go through when we go home, see if we have anything designer or anything hidden. People like to hide stuff in clothes too. What the pillow? Just a pillow. All right, we saw that already. Is that a GTA map? Yeah, this is like Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> it's sad that. I just recognized that just by lifting it up, the map to Grand Theft Auto. All I, all I had to see was a piece of it. That's how many hours I put into Grand Theft Auto games. And we got, ooh. Hey, taxis. Those are the taxis. Last time these were like $60 shoes even used. Again, same shoe, just different size. Yeah. Look at that. Cool. What about these? Or this, I guess. <laughs> Looks, I mean, it's not horrible. Not as good as the taxis, but it's still decent shape. But again, look at that. Is that the one, other one, the other shoe, the one we found earlier? Well, we found two. It, it, it has a, like a very similar looking shoe though. Huh. If not the same shoe. Weird. There's an iron. Um, more Ruby Tuesday thing. Why do you keep these? Like, somebody that's worked fast food, why do you have these? Or not fast food, restaurants, I guess. is a server. Why do you have these? Uh, let's see, let's see. Tampon. Some more blunt wrappers. The iron. And not much else. Oops. I don't see the other one of these in there, though, so. Mm -mm. Maybe we do. I'm, I'm getting confused. Yeah, confused. The taxi ones, they're in there. Oops. Last, Last note. Be jeans. More dirty laundry? At least it's jeans. There's a hair dryer down there. Hot and hotter, 1875 professionals. Is that cheap Walmart or good brand? Somebody's gotta let me know. And literally, all that is just jeans, and it looks like a jean jacket. So, now we're gonna cross our fingers and hope we can get this on the car in one trip. We'll go home, go through it all, and do a giant recap and let you know what else we found. So, see you then. All right, guys, so let's do a recap. First off, sorry the audio in that video kind of sucked. There was just way too many people to do the videos the way we usually do, so I was trying to be quiet, but did it the best we could. But anyway, let's do a recap. There was no like crazy, crazy hidden treasure, but there were cool things, a few cool things. First off, you can see all the shoes we got. We got a lot of shoes again. It seems to be a theme in Maryland and DC area, but I'm never gonna complain about it because it's one of our biggest money makers. Shoes are the easiest thing to flip we found as far as clothes go. They sell very, very quick. Maybe it's because we undercut everybody else. We sell them cheaper than they could go for. I know that people tell me that all the time, but I want to move them as fast as possible, especially on a $40 unit. I mean, two pairs of shoes will pay for that. Some of these, we haven't cleaned anything up yet, but we're going to try to clean them up. If they look decent, we'll sell them. If not, they'll just be donated, so not a big deal. You might see two pairs missing, the taxis and another pair. I forgot which one. My aunt took two pairs from me, but it was a birthday, so we'll let it slide. <laughs> but anyway, let's see. We have one. No, these are Nikes over here. Then these are Adidas. I keep wanting to say they're Jordans because it just looks like they're trying to rip off one of the Jordan designs, but they're the Adidas. Also found this in here. Can somebody explain this to me? Best day ever. I'm guessing it's just a cigar, but based on everything else we found, I don't know. There was a couple of blunt wrappers we found in there that still had weed in them, but I mean, no like big amounts. It was just a little bit of remnants left. Then we got, oops, these little pair, this little pair of Nikes. These gotta be some of the ugliest Nikes. If you like these, I'm sorry for offending you, but I think they're so ugly. We found a pair very similar to this, and we listed them at, I mean, in just brand new condition, just like this too. I think we listed them at $20 and could not sell them still. I think they're still sitting in the box. 
we had a talk about this and everyone seems to come to the conclusion that these shoes are probably like a gift from somebody's mom which is why every time we find them they never look worn they always look brand new because nobody's gonna wear them we have these these are pretty cool looking too but they're not in the greatest of shape but again we got to clean them up and really see how good their condition is because sometimes we've got something weird just like instantly like they have to be donated but they turn out pretty well after you clean them like this too like that that'll probably clean up these are actually like i wish they were bigger then lastly this little pair of jordans i did find these online because i still was a little skeptical about that jordan symbol being so little but that is the way they're made so from what i can see they're real we have all the clothes a lot of it was cheap even though they had nice shoes a lot of the clothes was cheap but we did keep this adidas jacket which is just your basic you know stripe going down the side adidas symbol on it nothing too fancy but adidas this was one of those brands that all of a sudden just pop back into popularity these the ones we thought were cheap are actually converse i mean they're not expensive used they go for about 20 to 30 dollars but once we clean them up these are actually in pretty good shape and what you see there's just dirt that'll just brush off we have brushes to get that stuff right off we also got let's see four hats five hats the Toronto Raptors one, unfortunately, that was in the best condition, was missing the thing on top of it. This part right here, so couldn't be sold. And I just realized so it was this one. <laughs> it, so, had, it has like sharp things at the top, so yeah. it wasn't a good idea to sell. Probably not. But it was missing that, so no one's probably going to buy it that way. We also found hidden money. Not much. But we did find $2 in some pants. And this was at the bottom of one of the hampers. It was actually folded like this. I wanted to leave it folded. They folded the dollar like a t-shirt. It looks like a collared shirt. That's pretty creative. I've never figured out how to do that. I thought a easy tutorial. That's pretty cool. Also have that hat. Change here, not much, like literally less than a dollar. But the big thing of the find, the big find of the storage unit was the box that did go to the Louis Vuitton belt. And I've watched three different YouTube videos now and watched, looked at two different websites. Everything I see points to this thing being authentic Louis Vuitton. So use we've seen these things on Poshmark for a hundred to two hundred dollars average would probably be about 150 on there I'm holding it upside down about 150 which is awesome considering the unit was a forty dollar unit so this was definitely the big money maker I know I'm gonna get some crap by people that don't watch the video all the way through because they're like this thing's worth so much more than 20 30 dollars you priced it at the handle's broken so it is an authentic bag but the handle's broken and unfortunately no one's gonna pay top dollar for it, but people still will pay like 20 or $30 if they have the means to sew this back together because that's still a hell of a deal. These things are expensive. So somebody will still pay 20 or $30 for that, but if the handle wasn't broken, easily would probably get around hundred bucks for that. And other than that guys, we found the hair dryer, which again, I think I looked this up, it's only about $20. So we'll probably sell for like 10 or 15. Some watches, the smart watch, I haven't got the cut on yet, but we also didn't try to charge it. We did find the back though. The back was in another tote, so it is complete now, but we'll try to charge it and see if it cuts on. Since it's not Apple, it's probably not worth anything. You know how people are. This blue watch, this one's actually metal and purple. I like this watch. It's kind of cool. We looked it up. I've seen a pink version of it selling for about $40, so I'm assuming it's like a $40 watch new, so probably $10, $20. Bucks. This one, I don't think it's anything special. I find these kind of a lot. They're just like flashy looking watches only two phones I thought we were gonna find more and of course one of them has to be absolutely crushed but they still keep it for some odd reason don't know why and other than that I think that's just about gonna sum it up so definitely a good unit again every time we go out in this area we usually hit it with the shoes shoes are definitely our biggest money maker like I said before so I'm always happy to find a bunch of shoes especially when they're Nikes or Jordans and whatnot always easy money but anyway guys it's gonna be it so thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy the video make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up if you're not already hit that subscribe button for awesome treasure hunting videos all the time and if you want to follow us on our social media links will be on screen just click the link down in the description below make sure you follow us on whatever you have thank you so much for watching until next time peace out